My name is Pedro Barbeto and the title of my paintings are LHC Red to my left and LHC Blue to my right. In the 90s, mid 90s, um, when I was in, in graduate school, I was looking um, for, basically I was looking for content um, for my paintings. I'd been making paintings that were um, derived from systems, um, process paintings, um, I had my interest my interest lay in minimalism and conceptual art, artists such as Sol LeWitt. And um, I was there, I guess, when, um, as we all were, but um, I, I definitely embraced the moment when things turned from analog to digital. And I really saw that as an opportunity to um, expand on um, what, what I considered was um, a moment in painting that felt very derivative, um, very um, repetitive, very mannerist. Um, so science for me was opening up new horizons, uh, new landscapes to the invisible um, through um, um, scientific simulations, um, through the collection of data from um, labs like CERN, uh, where the Large Hadron Collider um, exists now. There was previously another super collider there. Um, and particle collisions are something that's been going um, on for, for decades. My interest, though, in the Large Hadron Collider came um, when the Higgs boson particle, um, that was later termed the God particle, um, was discovered, a particle that provides mass um, to all matter. And it was really the, the, the kind of controversy, um, the, um, the complexity of, of that moment, um, the chaos of that moment, if you will, that um, really kind of made me um, look again at these um, um, super colliders, these uh, particle colliders. Um, and I devoted a whole exhibit um, uh, to, um, to this theme um, this was a, an exhibit I, I had in LA in 2014. My, my other interest, aside from the content, aside from revealing these new worlds through technology, was the technology itself and how the technology could um, inform a history of painting within how I understood painting, the parameters that I had established for painting. So. Um, these layered elements that, um, that I'd been working on um, through graduate school and um, so from 1994 when, th when I discovered 3D printing in um, 1997 I, I worked at a print shop and I was going to these uh, trade shows in New Jersey for uh, uh, commercial printing and I discovered a 3D printer and I realized that a 3D printer lays down plastic in the same way that I was laying down plastic. So it was kind of like the machine doing um, a similar form of, of layering, which is what I consider painting to be. If you look at a, a Rembrandt or you look at a, a, um, a Velasquez painting, um, there's, a, there's an alchemy there, there's a chemistry, there's a layering of material um, that creates, that provides that, that experience of um, you know, a representation and at the same time an object. Um, and, and so technology, um, 3D printing in this case, um, a pigment printout which is completely flat, in, in many ways the antithesis of the 3D printout, um, were ways to engage that history of painting that, that I was interested in. Um, and technology was what was revealing these images, um, so I wanted to also bring in that technology to further reference that, that moment.